I've been going to the Valley since I was 16, and I've never really given much thought to higher Cathedral Spire. But once you hike up that talus field, you realize it's like a skyscraper sticking up right out of the ground like a pencil. And it's really big and really proud and really steep. Let's go rock climbing. Rule number one. No die. Yeah. Well, I wanted a new project. I wanted like an anti Donwall project. Something that wasn't in the spotlight. I just wanted my own little project to toil away on in the shadows. Literally, you know, the spire is almost always in the shadows. Have fun working on a project. The Chimney of Horus has every style of climbing in it. It starts wide and slowly gets narrower until there's no crack at all. But it's a true test of like every, every crack size, which is pretty cool. So you really, you literally experience every technique from chimney down to stemming because there's no holds left. It's just spectacular. It's a, it's a physical, pitch, it takes it out of you, but it's amazing. this next pitch. It's really unique and really hard climbing. The basis of it is you climb up 15 feet and then you bust right across this roof. And it's just like lifting a car off a baby. You're under clinging, you're knee barring, and then you get your fingertips into this tiny little crack and you have to surf this thing out for a ways and your feet always feel like they're gonna slip off. Uh. 
really, really physical and intense climbing, like totally different than everything else on the route. I think what I enjoy most about revisiting these old roots from the Stone Masters is that it, in a way, brings them back into relevance. Because yeah. now you can kind of go experience what Robbins and Frost went through on that route, but in a modern way. It's the first time meeting that. Ugh. The seventh pitch is the spiciest pitch because it's the first pitch that deviates off of the aid line. So it's the first brand new kind of terrain on the entire route. It's pure liebacking, pure power endurance liebacking. Very top, the holds kind of disappear and you have to do this pretty challenging traverse off right. <laughs> Even when you were climbing pitch four and five and six, your mind was up on seven because you knew that it was still coming. And that's the one that you really wanted to get, get over with. The climbing right in that moment is spectacular. L cap right behind you. Amazing. So from the Tower of Rubble, there's this giant roof right above you. has this really intimidating kind of off width size undercling crack. At the very end of the day, you end up with this final boxing match. pull the roof and it's pretty easy from there to the top. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal.
the final pitch is probably one of my favorites because it's just like a laser cut off with. You know, after 30 feet or so, you emerge on the top and it's just like being born. And it's one of the most spectacular summits ever. Fire, first recent, it's done. I just love following in the footsteps of the generations that came before. <laughs>